Hey guys, hello and welcome to my live feed. This is Poonam from Paint and Clay Studio, and uh, welcome to my live uh, session. I am here today to share a surprise tutorial with you guys, and uh, let's just wait for a few people to join in. And today I. I am going live to show you a few of my creations and the upcoming courses. I can see a few people joining in and hi. Hi, hello, hello, hello. A very, very big hello to everybody who's live with me today. And uh, hope you all are doing good. You're taking care of yourself. You're inside. Covid crisis have again hit the world. and uh, you guys have to really take care of yourself so be indoor be safe and be at home and keep crafting so welcome to all the crafters and clay loving people who have joined me today hi so i am here today to remind you about the course which uh i have put up on discount and which i have launched just now which is the muskari and uh, 31st of march is the last date to register for that course i would like to mention here that uh, the date to register i have extended for another 5 days more so the last date to register for muskari online video tutorial is 4th of april so people who are interested in joining in they can join that course because it's a one in a million course and it's really very easy to do so you don't require a lot of tools into that you don't require skills and you don't require anything to make uh, muskaris you can make muskaris with just a little bit of clay and just normal tools which are available in your house so uh, i wish that you want to enroll for this course and if anyways if you wish to then you please let me know i'll share all the details with you guys so today's live session is a little different from the regular live sessions and uh, generally i come live i show my products i teach something if i have to and then i go away but today it will be more about people who are watching me so i want people to interact with me and ask me questions so i want people to participate so if you are watching me and you're live with me you can ask me questions and i'll answer the questions very nicely and as much as i can so generally people uh, uh, clay is is uh, is a very elite art form and not a lot of people do clay here in india though i am doing it since past 22 years and i have a lot of students who are doing it too but uh, not a lot of people know about clay uh, so i have recently started getting queries about what is the clay and what all clays we can use if we don't have thai clay so i'll be answering those kind of questions so you can ask me any questions and i can answer as much as i can so uh, there are a lot of people asking questions about what are the other options of clay available in the market or what other clays we can use to make our flowers or miniatures and um, what if you don't have uh, thai clay then what to do what all colors we can mix into the clay and if we have the tools we can make the flowers what about if we don't have the tools then how can we make the flowers so those kind of questions i'll be answering and i would wish that you guys also ask me questions so that i would answer them as much as i can so please write down in the comment section and i will try to answer as much as i can so guys um uh yeah so i want to show you the courses which i have right now and then i'll be teaching you something surprise so it'll be a surprise catch up tutorial which we'll be doing after i show you what all i have to show you guys so here i'm flipping the camera and here we go so guys starting with the muskari these are the muskari flowers which is on discount right now on pre launch discount i have pre recorded hd videos 
remember hd videos are the videos which i have edited which i have made with a lot of patience and each and every step is covered uh, in that uh, tutorial so those are not like coming live and teaching just while doing my work i'm just uh, making a video it's not like that each and every step is been uh, taught in a very detailed format and people who have taken my online tutorial they can only tell you how nicely each and every step has been explained that they could also make their flowers as realistic as i am making here so these are the muscaris guys this course is on discount till the 4th of april now and you can register the course and you can make this beautiful muscari don't miss the bulbs these are the bulbs of muscari and uh, this is how the arrangement is going to be i have taught blue muscari and pink muscari in that tutorial you can make the white one the same way process is the same you just have to uh, make it with a white clay that's the only difference uh, there's uh, there in the white and the pink and uh, apart from that i have another course which is the doctor's mug so that's the doctor's mug and uh, i will show you what all is covered in the doctor's mug because that tutorial is also going to publish on the 4th of april so this is how the doctor's mug is going to be this is the coat on which i have done the buttons don't miss the medicines the tooth because it was made for a dentist so this is the coat and this is how each and everything looks and in my tutorial you will be learning each and everything as nicely as i have made here and the doctor mug also have a lady doctor and a male doctor so both the doctors you will be learning into that tutorial so guys don't wait the course is out it's going to publish on the 4th of april so if you want to know the details you can just let me know i will share all the details and you can also make your beautiful doctor mug and gift it to your friends and take orders like that so that's the doctor's mug and that's the muscari which is going to publish on the 4th of april don't just save the date and uh, enroll for the course as as soon as possible because the discounts are going to last till the 4th of april only so guys now moving ahead i am going to show you a few more creations which i have done in peace in recent times that's my lovely gorgeous water lily that's the water lily i have i have a online tutorial for water lily as well and this is how my water lily looks the leaves are brown from the bottom and green from the top and this is how my water lily looks so these tutorials are also out and right now there's holy discount running on all my courses and uh, you can just let me know what all you want to join in and i will share all the details with you now coming to this one that's my wild rose that deco patch has been done by my daughter that's the wild rose i am making the tutorials for this and i'll be coming up with the tutorial very 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 soon for this one also and now coming to this one this is a candle candle decor is a free video which i have posted on my youtube channel so guys rush out there and check the candle decor video so this is how you have to decor or place the flowers on your candle and i have taught each and everything very nicely in that tutorial it's a fast forward uh, video tutorial which is beautiful and you will get to learn a lot in that tutorial so guys that's how it is and of course this one how can i miss this this is a women's day special which i have made on the 7th of uh, this month and i have taught how to make and assemble a small little hand bouquet that's also a free video tutorial you can check out on my youtube channel i'll share the link with you and you can see this gorgeous hand bouquet how to make it and this is how you're going to decor it don't miss the symbidium it's the upcoming orchid which i'm going to publish in the month of may so you can stay tuned for the details and how can i miss my beautiful chrysanthemum 
chrysanthemum is one of my very long project which i've been waiting for since to do since since quite quite long and this is my chrysanthemum flower so in the tutorial i have shown how to make the blooming bud how to make the close bud how to make the blooming flower and the full bloomed flower so everything you're going to learn in the chrysanthemum video along with the placement and look at the details on the stem can you see that it looks gorgeous and very very realistic so guys this is how the chrysanthemum uh, tutorial is and uh, that's my newest creation which i have not recorded the video so far but i got the cutter in my consignment this time and i have made this gorgeous david austin rose and i will be coming up with the tutorial very very soon i'm just trying my hands on the cutters and once it is done i'll be publishing the tutorials for this as well the hostas they are my favorite hostas and that's the monstera monstera leaf does not require any vena though you can see a few veins out here don't miss the marbling effect the marbling effect is gorgeous and there's a way to do a way to do the marble in clay so i have taught a beautiful way how to marble your clay and you can also make your gorgeous monsteras just with the cutters and one tool that is it you just need one tool to make the entire monstera leaf so guys the tutorial is going to publish very soon let me know if you want to join in that and that's my gajra the jasmine gajra clay flowers so many people have made so far i have never seen somebody making clay flowers in such a way that you can create your daily use products like this that's a jasmine gajra a veni you can make the entire gajra like this using my clay thai clay and following the tutorials which i have made and believe me anybody can make it my daughter is 10 years old and she has made some of these beautiful gorgeous jasmine buds so anyone anyone who has never done clay flower they can also follow my tutorials and make the flowers as realistic as i have done these are the jasmine gajras a very popular and beautiful tutorial which i went uh, which i came across and uh, let me know if you want to join this one also festivals are coming you guys must be getting ready and preparing yourself so this this ugadi this pongal let's make the jasmine gajra and wear it in all our pujas so guys that's the jasmine gajra let me know if you want to join this one as well and last but not the least that's my bamboo tree the bamboo tree is one of my very very exclusive tutorial and i'm very proud of myself of publishing this tutorial only because bamboo is one of the flowers or one of the creations which i have seen nowhere i mean i have seen nobody doing bamboo in clay before this so this will be an exclusive creations for people who learn so this is how the bamboo is it's a three layered bamboo and this is how it's going to look please avoid the background and if you want to enroll for this gorgeous course please let me know you don't need any sort of color cutters into this this entire bamboo tree has been made using one single leaf cutter which i don't have also i just send it like this only people who have taken up the course they want the materials i just send like that only the cutter so yeah entire tree is been made using one single cutter and three different colors of green clay that is it this is all you require you do not require anything else now how to do it that you have to learn and that i will teach you in my tutorials so this is it and uh, i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed watching all my creations and i hope that you also enroll for the online courses and get yourself learned the clay flowers so guys uh, now it's time to show you the surprise tutorial which i planned for today and uh, it's related muskari only in my muskari tutorial i have shown how to make this entire plant 
fit into the pot that's the pot which i have taught how to make the pot arrangement for muskari but uh, here i'm teaching muskari in a very different way so i will be teaching you a wall decor using the same muskaris which i have prepared in the class so let's get started i'll flip the camera and start working on it So guys, these are the materials which we will be needing. You can do the uh, the wall panel design on a wooden panel, or you can use a canvas like that. So I am using canvas because canvases are very easily available. It's a stretched canvas with a frame at the back, and uh, these are the colors. So I am just going to take some color and just pour it over the canvas like that just i need very little not too much because it will take a lot of time to dry as well so some color and that's it so i'll take some light color which will look good with everything and i am just going to cover the entire canvas with the color like that and now i'll take some different colors and put it at the corners so i will take some brown color and just apply it randomly here and there i need that rustic faded look which really goes with any kind of arrangement and because i want my flowers to be the focal point i don't want the background to be too much so that's a way you can just design your backgrounds i do it when i am in a hurry or i am just making some tutorial just for the sake of you know making a panel or something i prefer to just do some designing like that you can try different methods and different procedures to make your panel look a little attractive now i will just spread this blue as well let let us have some variation of color just like that and that is it i just wipe my hands yeah and i just have to let it dry now you can fix the the muskaris i have these muskaris which i have made for this project and uh, see this is how the muskari is going to look on the canvas as well so that's the muskari and i just have to fix it people who have taken the poppy tutorial they must be knowing about i have created a wall panel with a crackle medium homemade crackle medium on it and it went really well and a lot of people enrolled for that course as well so i wish that you guys like this tutorial as well and you can enroll for this course the same way that's the the bulb see this is how the muskari bulb will look like and these are the leaves so i've taught uh, three different styles uh, variation of leaves in that tutorial and this is how it looks all i need to do is just take some hot glue and paste it so i'm just going to keep it like this so that you could see it very nicely and this is how the first flower will come and we'll tilt it a little this is how the second flower will come and these are the flowers so two flowers you can just take a bit of hot glue and apply it over the canvas and just fix it that is how it's going to look you can decorate this entire panel with a lot of different 
um, MDF cutouts and things available. You can use some different textures, how to create. You can do some coning over here and write down certain things like home sweet home or things like that, which looks uh, homely and they're very nice and it'll look more realistic and attractive. So this is a wall panel, which I wanted to teach you guys you can cut off these lines extra and if you don't have anything then only the colors and a little piece of ribbon also will do so I thought earlier of um, adding a ribbon here and uh, then I thought then I thought not everybody would be having ribbons at their home so I just skipped that plan but you can also try with ribbons just add a panel of ribbon over here just a little bit of ribbon and your frame will be done just write down something over here very interesting and attractive and your panel is ready so this is how you have to add the the flowers on canvas and that's how we do for most of our flowers so whatever flowers you learn it's not necessary that it will be uh, pasted on a uh, 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 fixed in a pot or something you can always try different methods and this is how you can play around with the flowers and you know you can make panels or put it on a gift box and just you know you can just try your hands on everything so guys this is what I was trying to tell you in this video today and uh, yes so I hope you liked the, the tutorial and uh, that was a surprise tutorial which I planned for today's uh, uh, online class and uh, I also would like to tell you that uh, clay is one of the mediums which has helped me to uh, work with making flowers and uh, my clay is really good to try flowers on because flowers petals are very thin and we have to roll it very very thin so that we could make the flowers look more realistic so the thai clay is the best to make the flowers just in case if you don't have thai clay then the most asked question is that uh, what to use if we do not have thai clay then you can always always try your hands on lamasa and um, i have been doing lamasa since over 20 years now it means i learned in lamasa so uh, lamasa is really nice but the only thing is it doesn't last for very long um, and when you have a better medium to work with like the thai clay then lamasa seems a little difficult to work with so the textures are different of course it's a substitute for thai clay it's not thai clay so thai clay you can't make at home so the thing which you can make at home is lamasa so the texture will be different but the process is the same so if you want to try your hands on thai clay and and uh, uh, you want to try something else also then you can try with the uh, cool porcelain or namasa clay it's really very good and the texture you'll get hand uh, you'll get a little hang of using the lamasa clay as and when you start working on it so uh, lamasa is one of the substitute and uh, there are different mediums to work with but uh, uh, different different clays have different textures so lamasa coal porcelain or thai clay are three different things which you can try making the flowers and the figurines so guys uh, this video was all about this beautiful wall panel and i hope you have enjoyed my live session as much as i have enjoyed with you all and uh, the muscari tutorial is again i should mention it's on discount right now free launch discount for my pre-recorded videos and if in case you want to join that video tutorial you just let me know i'll share all the details with you and i hope you have enjoyed this video to video with me the live session with me i hope do we have any disadvantages in Thai clay? Disadvantages? What is disadvantages? I have no disadvantages. It's always inspiring for me to new, uh, to create new new things with Thai clay. So disadvantages? No, I don't think anything. I can see a few questions. Um, I can see a few questions, guys. Please. If you have any queries or any questions, any particular uh, doubts to ask with, you just let me know. I'll share all the details. 
and uh, yeah thank you rachna ji she has taken my muskari tutorial and she is making so i hope that rachna ji also will be making um the tutorial and sharing with you guys very soon very well explained thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed the video tutorial as much as i have enjoyed with you guys thank you so much for coming live with me today and i will see you in the next one bye bye